Welcome back, back 40 family. So, last week I had to cut the video because I had... Hi, Luna! I had to cut the... <laughs> I had to cut the video short because the video is running long and I still had probably another five minutes of footage. So, the footage you're about to see is right after I did some grinding. I might redo the time lapse just to refresh y'all's memory. And then me explaining this stuff and then it will come back to me in the shop. Or then it will come back to me in the present. Alrighty guys, my neck is killing me right now. It is 7.15. Oh. Oof, man. I'm gonna call it a night. This guy got a little rusty. I'm gonna grind it real quick. There we go, that's a little bit more presentable. Anyways, um, this guy, as I said before, still has a warp in it, and I can't exactly grind that out. I do not have enough mass. This guy is probably now at, I can read a tape measure, right? It's around an eighth inch. Around that. Um, other guy is at, wherever the heck I put that. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I lost the knife. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that's better. Loosened up my bandana. I think it was, I think well, that was causing my headache. Bandana was pushing on the back of my neck. Uh, the knot tied is this guy. This is probably a little bit over uh, an eighth inch. Anyways, I'm really liking how this one's coming out. On the drawing, if you remember, it was a straight up and down, um, how normal cleavers are. But I'm really tempted to go ahead and kind of like curve it out a little bit. I'm really tempted to do that because that just feels really nice like that. And you can still do it like that, but I'm really tempted to do that. And I can always change it if I don't like it. Um, I am going to be cutting the handle either straight or like that just to give it some flair. Because I do not have enough material to grind out that little bit of forge scale that I had in there. And then I still got to make this somewhat straight. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I have a warp in this one as well that I cannot grind out for the life of me. Unless I put it on the big grinder magnet, but I don't have one of those yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my piece of angle iron and use it as a flat piece of steel maybe, or something. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to straighten this. Um, I might have just to heat it back up again and flatten it back out, just use a wood mallet. So that's what I might do for these two, actually. I think that is what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I, I gotta go edit this video and I need to stop rambling on, but I love that texture. Anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. How to fix the warp is I'm just gonna throw it back into the forge, heat it back up to like a dull red and just use wood to flatten this guy back out. And then something I did not mention is going to be the holes. They're gonna be about a quarter inch. If I can find a quarter inch, I'd show it to you. I really don't have a quarter inch. Oh well. I'll probably have it inside. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a quarter inch hole. So, I'm, I'm confused. It's late. Anyways, it's gonna be a quarter inch hole around that ear like a normal cleaver. Same on this guy. So, yeah, that's that. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Anyways guys, I think we're gonna call it there. Alrighty guys, with that out of the way, we can get back to what I think I can fix, which is warps in the blade. Now, now, what I was gonna do is heat up, heat up, up, eh, heat it up in the forge, so that way I can get a good even heat on it, and then kind of like put it back into place. And then I decided to go watch some YouTube videos on some easy ways to fix warps, and I found Josh Smith knives or yeah, Josh Smith Knives, um, I follow him on Instagram under Josh Smith, or his Instagram handle will be up here. Amazing bladesmith, very talented dude. Please go give him a follow. He does some crazy, crazy knife work. Anyways, what he said to do is you get a really fine heat so you don't use um, this guy. You use someone of like a 
acetylene torch tip, which is more of that guy right there. Now I was wondering, it's like, man, I don't have one of those because it's very fine heat and he was doing this after his heat treat. And for y'all who don't really know, that is when the block, that is when the blade is hardened and tempered. And if you add too much heat, it will ruin your hardness and become soft again. That's a, kind of a rough description. Anyways, so what he did is he used a very fine pencil heat of his acetylene torch. I think that's it. Yeah, something like that. Oxypropane, whatever. Anyways, it gets really hot. I think that's what it is. Anyways, he had it in his vise. He would bring it real close. He would bend it. Let it go. Put it in water real quick. Right before it ruined his hardness on his blade, he would check it. Put it on the stone. Flat piece. This is just really flat granite or marble. I think that's marble actually. And so I was thinking I don't have one of those. But what I do have is a little burner thing. Not a little burner thing. Um, forget what it's called. But anyways, I can put oxygen, oxygen and propane. I don't have propane right now. So I'm using map gas. And for those who probably know how to use these things, you're probably going to be yelling at me saying, don't do that. Tested it out last night, it was fine. Anyways, try and get out some of these warps that are in here from grinding. And then on this guy, it's just some grinding stuff that I need to take care of. And then some of it is actually warps, but some of it might just be grinding. But anyways, I need to get a new battery and then we'll start off with heating up the really fine point sections and getting them back in to where it's just me grinding off a little bit here and there to fix the warps. And yeah, as always with this channel, as always with this channel, guys, let's get into some time lapse. Since of what I'm looking at, everything's free floating to about right here and about right here. But over on this point, on this side, I think I have more material than I need to have. And then looking down, I can thin that out a little bit, but I know for sure. I'm gonna take a little bit out and then I have to get that part a little bit better. I did take out some of the warp take out a little bit more and then on the opposite side it's more of right in this area that I need to take out but that looks more of like an actual warp than like bad grinding well eh, I guess it could go both ways but I'm gonna fix this issue up here first and then once that's done I'm gonna switch to the other side so, let's go ahead and get this side done. I'm just going to mark where I need to grind off. And for that, I need to go around the side and grab a sharpie. So I'll see you when I'm back from grinding. Alright guys, I did the torch one more time. It seemed to help a little bit. I mean, a smudge maybe. But what also, I think what also is my problem is I'm saying some stuff that hasn't been squared up yet. To the rest of the handle, or not to the rest of the handle, to the rest of the blade. So, I don't know because it's still it's still wanting to do almost the same thing it did and there's just a little spot right there and then a spot back here that I need to mark out to get those out and we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm gonna cut it right here because I don't think you wanna see me grinding more and more and more into oblivion. 
Thank you for watching Back 40 Family, and if you're not part of the Back 40 Family yet, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, please remember, Jesus always loves you, I love you, and y'all please have a fantastic day. All right, guys, I did the torch one more time. It seemed to help a little bit. I mean, a smudge maybe. But what also, I think what also is my problem is I'm saying some stuff that hasn't been squared up yet. To the rest of the handle, or not to the rest of the handle, to the rest of the blade. So, I don't know, because it's still, it's still wanting to do almost the same thing it did. And there's just a little spot right there. And then a spot back here that I need to mark out to get those out and we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm going to cut it right here. Because I don't think you want to see me grinding more and more and more into oblivion. Time check for you guys is 6.38. I got to go in at 7 or 7, 7.30 so I can actually get to bed to a decent time. So I can actually get to bed at a decent time. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to call it at this right here for this week's video. Uh, make it short and sweet. But I think, I, but guys, I think I'm going to call it here for this video or for this week's video, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> make it short, short and sweet as my mom always would say or always says. Yeah, always says, present tense. Anyways. Thank you for watching Back 40 Family, and if you're not part of the Back 40 Family yet, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, please remember, Jesus, bleh, always, always remember, Jesus, bleh, Jesus always loves you, I love you, and y'all please have a fantastic day.